All right, hey guys, it's Coach Edwards here, and it's that time of year, finally get the question. It's like the fat question I always get every time, every year. I also get this one too. Uh, goalies, um, and I got two, I got two emails this, uh, this week. So, um, mom, dad, frustrated, goalies really frustrated, got lit up, uh, and is, is just bummed out. Team lost a game like 14-2, um, uh, one, another one was 10, it was 8 nothing. Um, so, here's the deal. A goalie's grade... Like, right, if we're, if, if we're gonna have a game, a goalie's grade is not the win-loss, right? So you know, when, when the team loses 8-6, 10-0, 14-0, 21-17, the goalie should not feel good or bad based on the win or the loss, okay? They should, be, they should feel ac- accordingly, according to their how their save percentage was for that game, and then overall, their, what their average is. So for me, when I was going through my high school career and I was trying to become an All-American, um, I knew that if I focused on my save percentage every game, and that every, every game that I went out and I just beat my save percentage, that most likely, whether we won or lost, I was getting better, okay? So I either had a good performance or bad performance. So the first thing you got to figure out for your goalie, and this is important, coaches, parents, um, I want you to understand that to keep your goalie focused and making progress and moving forward, you got to focus on the save percentage. So, um, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, I mean, I was an All-American on a team, a high school American on a team that I think we went six and eight or eight and six, right? So, um it's not about losing, it's about how you lose. It's not about winning, it's about how you win, right? So, because you can have a great game, your team can win, and you can have a, a bad day. And that's when you look at the rest of your team and you go, hey guys, thanks, we won today because of you. I really wasn't really up to my average, right? So, so save percentage is key. So how do, you, how do you figure this out? Basically what you're doing is you're counting the number of shots and you're dividing it into the number of saves, okay? And that's going to that's gonna give you your save percentage, okay? So what I do now within that, though, within that, you want to find out of the goals that went in, of the goals that went in, where did they come from? Like, were they shots from out here? Were they shots from in here? Were they shots from over here? Were they all on this side of the field or were they on that side of the field? Because you can then dissect save percentage by where the shots come from, okay? So what you can do is you can say, okay, um, this, is, this is how I would, how I would basically critique my games. My mom videoed every game of mine through like junior high school all the way through high school, which was awesome, okay? So, and I still have them on VHS tape. So kids, ask your parents what a VHS tape is. So here's the deal. So what I would do is I would say, okay, here was a shot, and if it, uh, if, it was, um, if it was a save, it was a circle. If it was a shot from here and it was a goal, it was a square. Okay? If it was a shot and it went wide, it was a triangle. Okay, so what I was able to see was, you know, I wouldn't count, obviously, the, the, you know, the, the, the shot that um, went wide, it doesn't, it doesn't count as a save, so it's just, but it, was, it does count as a shot to your team statistics, right? So if your team's given up, like, you know, say you gave up like 40 shots for the game, but only 20 of them were on net, you know, still that 40, that's a statistic for your team to understand, right? And for you and your coach and your defense to use. Okay, but that's where you would start to then get a bit of a trend. You would start to see maybe, now for me in high school, um, outside of, of 15 yards, right? Like outside of 15 yards, my save percentage was, was high, right? It was, it, was, it, was, so it was good, sorry. It was, my save percentage was high. <laughs> in between like five and, you know, five and 10, my save percentage, I could see it would go down. I wasn't really good there, as w- but inside of five yards, my save percentage then went up again. So you start to see all these trends, right? So if your goalie, if you lose a game 10 nothing, right? My biggest saying, right? If the team was so damn good, they wouldn't need a goalie, right? So 
But shots are going to happen and goals are going to go in the net. But the, the key to keep your, your goalie's morale high is to really focus on save percentage and not the score, not how many they left in. Because you, you could have a goalie that, you know, let in 15 goals. I should keep another. Like let in 20 goals, but there was 40 shots on net. You know, that's 50%. That's a 50% save average, right? Not f for, for girls, pretty decent. For guys, maybe not so much, right? But here's the other thing is that over the course of a goalie season, um, you know, how, how, how are they doing? Are they improving? Are they making, are they, is their save percentage going up? Um, you, know, to, you know, did, uh, you know, you can break this down a whole number of ways. How many, how many shots from way outside have you let in, right? You know, is it, you know if, you, if you let this one in, um, if you let this one in and it's like 18 yards, that's a bad goal. Okay, that's, a, that's, in my opinion, outside of 15. No one should be scoring on any goalie outside of 15 yards, even in the MLL, like even in the MLL. And I get to that in, in our advanced DVD set. I don't cover it here, but, you know, those are things. But you can see what I'm saying here? Like within save percentage, you can critique your game. And, um, and by all means, with technology now, you know, I should create an app for this, I think. Right. So, so, but that's what you're going to, you're going to start coming up with this stuff. You're going to start seeing like, Hey, first quarter, what was your save percentage? Second quarter, what was your save percentage? Third quarter, fourth quarter, right? Do you have good quarters over bad quarters? Why? Okay. You may have lost today, but man, your third quarter save percentage was huge. You had 15 shots against you. You let two in, right? You made 13 saves. Phenomenal. Okay. Fourth quarter, you're finding you're exhausted. Why are you exhausted? Well, you know, whatever. Everything from you didn't have lunch to, you know, mom and dad are getting a divorce. These are all things that affect save percentage, right? So whether you win or lose, if you look at the save percentage, then you can really get a critique for, a grade for your game and how well you did today. So don't get frustrated. If you lose 10-0, it's like, come on, where's your offense, right? Like those are games where you just want to be able to huck it over the other team's goal and hope it goes out of bounds down there so you at least get like a five seconds extra rest on the clear, right? So, um, but, but if you lose like 14-6 and you have like a 30% save, save, uh, save percentage that day, yeah, you probably could have done a little better. But why? You know? Um, so anyway, that's the deal. Save percentage is the grade of the goalie. Don't forget it. And coaches, parents, if you're watching this, by all means, get some sort of statistics, a statistician, or get at least a tape of your game Give it to your goalie and say, goalie, as your homework, do this. You're going to map out where your goals were and why and what and what happened. And, you know, you're going to create a little bit of a journal that way. And it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Okay? So, anyway, I'm Coach Edwards, lacrossegoalietips.com, lacrossegoalieuniversity.com. If you like this, if this rings true to you, leave me a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. Okay? And then by all means, do me a favor. Tweet it. Share it. Like it. Google Plus it. Find me on LinkedIn. Pin it. I'd appreciate it. And if you got any more questions for me, coach Edwards at and I'll talk to you real soon. Cheers.